Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and it's that time again when we have a new update for uh, Firefox web browser. So there's been an update today to the Firefox web browser. If you want to know if you have the latest version, simply go up to the upper right in the hamburger menu. Go down to uh, Help and then to About Firefox. This will actually update you to version 87 of the web browser. So anything new to report? Um, not a lot of stuff. There's a few little things that are happening in there. Of course, uh, in the past few uh, releases, they have been actually improving the tracking that uh, and blocking trackers from third-party websites a lot. And they've been working very hard to do that. Problem is, it does at some times, at some point, actually do um, break something. So what that hap that does is that basically, if you uh, go to a website, well, that website, some third-party trackers might actually be breaking the website, and you can't see it well. So then you have to go and change the settings for that. Well, they have actually added a little something this time around, which basically what it does is um, something called smart block. When you block, and of course you block third-party tracking, it technically leaves a hole in the page where, the, where something was there or a script was there. And now it's just empty, and that is what breaks pages sometimes. So Smart Block will actually be um, working on basically replacing that empty spot with um, its own um, stand-in script that it creates in place, which means there's less chance that the website breaks because it still sees that there's a script there, but it's a made-up script within the browser itself, not a third-party script. So that's one of the options. So less page breaks probably as you surf the web because of the new options that they now have. Uh, some other thing is about um, third-party websites. There's something called refer trimming. So referral means that uh, sometimes when you create a web page, for example, in this page that you see here, there are pictures. Well, sometimes these pictures leak data from your, uh, your website, for example, or your uh, tracking to another website that you've never visited, but where the image actually comes from. And it's not just for images, it's for all kinds of content that are embedded within a web page. So you might be actually leaking information to a uh, third party uh, place. Uh, well, they added the option now to when you actually want to uh, see where that is actually being leaked. It's a you know complex little thing that not many people are going to actually go through and and look at, but um, it's little things like that that you know uh, will help in the privacy in the long term. Uh, very minor improvements in the UI for the rest, um, and also um, they. Um, have um, in the same time looked at uh, some security fixes, lots of security fixes, including some critical. So if it's just, if you don't care about the new features, but you do want to stay safe, uh, your browser is part of that safety. So do take the time to uh, actually go and, um, and update by going to the upper right corner, once again, into help and into about Firefox. And you will have version 87 released today, Tuesday, March the 23rd, 2021. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.